like to have a new super brain? We all know what this is. But did you ever stop to think what it is for our brains? This is our external memory. This is an extension of our mind. This is a device capable of giving us limitless knowledge. So many capabilities, so many abilities. Now, think about it. If you have a smart, actually, raise your hand. Who's got a, a cell phone with them pretty much all the time? OK, so that would be pretty much everybody. I can't see everybody. Come on, guys, don't lie. You too, raise your hand. OK, good. Thank you for the lights. So if you have your phone with you, it, it means pretty much that you're reminded of what to do throughout the day all the time. Birthdays, oh yeah, social media will remind you all the time of one of those birthdays, even from those people you barely know. What about work? Yeah, if you have a cell phone with you, you can work pretty much everywhere. Isn't that fantastic? And what about the videos? If you have a cell phone, you can vividly remember what you were doing three, five, ten years ago. Amazing. And you can actually share those videos as well. You can share videos, memories, you can share ideas. And now it gets even more interesting. Because not only you can share your own ideas, but you can actually share other people's ideas. So what does this mean? If we can actually Google information, we could just Google something in two seconds, isn't it somehow part of your knowledge too? I mean, if you guys ask me, Marta, do you know what are the important dates of the French Revolution? I'll go ju just like, yeah, sure. Let me just Google it. Or Marta, do you know how to bake a carrot cake? Sure, let me just Google it. Or Marta, do you know who was the first person to invent a cell phone? Sure, let me just Google it. These are just few of the multiple advantages that phones have, right? But there is a big but. See, 15, 20 years ago, we had to look for things on books, you know, on the internet, but it was very slow too. So somehow, we tend to remember information so much better because we knew that if we didn't learn that information, we would have to go back, back to the library, back to that book that we read months ago, or we would have to go to our huge, fixed, and slow computer. So we would make a bigger effort to remember things. For instance, if you guys were at a restaurant and you were having a discussion with your friends, you're going to just look up something on your phone immediately. You would have to wait, right? Therefore, using your memory was a lot more useful than today. But all this, you know, is changing. I'm pretty sure everyone here is going to feel related with this one. OK, so what about phone numbers? Do you guys, do you know cell phone numbers today? I'm sure you guys know the cell phone numbers you actually learned when you were kids or long, you know, years ago, yeah, right? But not anymore, we don't know cell phone numbers. What about the GPS? Oh my God, I get lost all the time without a GPS. I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing I can do without a GPS. See, this is all great. You know, memories, external memories are great, but we really, it's really making our brain very lazy. We're losing our memory. We really do need to do something about this. There's actually an effect called, called the Google effect, that it means the easier you can Google information, the easier it is for you to access information, the more likely you are to forget. This is a huge problem. We do need our brains. We do need our memories. It interferes with the learning process. If you want, for instance, to learn a language, you need to first study it, and then actually you need to use your memory if you want to speak it. 
or if you want to play the guitar or any instrument, never mind. And it's actually interfering with our concentration as well. Oh my God, seriously? I was so distracted all the time by my phone when I actually t needed to prepare this uh, talk. It took me forever. This is a, is a problem too. But you know what really, really, really matters to me most? Relationships. Oh my God. So the other day, one of my friends here in the audience, Lucia Valero, she calls me and she goes like, hey, Marta, where are you? Belen is so annoying. She's been on the phone for 30 minutes. Can you please come over? What is wrong with us? We keep texting. We keep checking pictures and stuff. This is so rude to the people that are, are with us. We're basically telling them, you know what? The person that I'm talking to is a lot more interesting than you. And actually, not only it is rude, but it is not good for our brains. Because spending time with people is super beneficial for our brains. We release so much endorphins and so much oxytocin. It is amazing for our brains. And somehow, we always feel dragged to our phones. We just can't avoid it. Neuroplasticity has shown that we can actually adapt, that we can evolve. But changes are happening very fast, way too fast. And think about the next thing. We've had the same brain for over 200,000 years. That is insane. And all of a sudden, we're changing things very fast. Think about it. 50 years ago, a computer was the size of this room. It cost around $60 million, and it was only accessible to few. Today, you can put it in your pocket. It's 1,000 times faster, 1,000 times cheaper. Even a poor person in Africa has one, never mind. Everyone can have this. And it's no longer science fiction to think that in no time, very little time, we'll have cheap implants. Actually, Elon Musk, he created another company, Neuralink, and he is creating this already. This is already happening. But we know so little about the brain, though. We have so much to explore about the brain. It is so dangerous to do all these things. We've already, we, we are already seeing the consequences, all of us, right? So again, memory, right? Concentration, relationships. Imagine what could happen. So what's my point? Where do I want to get? See, I love technology. I really think all of us here and everyone around the world we're going to see amazing changes thanks to technology. Great things. We live in the best era ever. However, we're humans. We're not cyborgs, at least not yet. So we, we need to be humans. So I'm going to challenge you for tonight. When you get back home, drive without a GPS. What an adventure. Try switching your phones when you're with your loved ones, or your friends, whoever it is, and, and do this a little bit more often. I know it's a challenge to maintain brain sanity in a world of phone insanity, but we all have to make a choice, me too. Either we take care of our brains and we remain them healthy, or we're going to destroy them. I want to have a super brain. I don't know about you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>